Well, good day, everyone. Welcome to Small Town Baker. Um, I'm excited about the response I've received, and I'm so happy to bring a smile to everybody's faces. Today, I'm going to um, do something really simple, um, a recipe that's loved by many, simple chocolate chip cookies, Small Town Baker way. Um, and I know there's some of my isolated friends who are waiting patiently for a little delivery. I hope you all enjoyed those shortbreads. Oh, and just a note about the Small Town Baker went savory. Um, for those who might have wondered why I wasn't washing my hands as long and why there might have been some Christmas music in the background, well, that was a pre-recorded episode. So anyway, so, but I'm still glad you enjoyed it. Um, so here we go. So guess what we start with? We got to wash our hands. And this time I'm prepared because I wrote out the words so I don't forget them. Oh, <laughs> oh the year was 1778. How I wish I wasn't sure but now. A letter of mark came from the king to the scummiest best love ever seen. God damn them all. I was full with cruise and we took a drink. We fired up us, shed no tears. I'm a broken man. No corona in the kitchen, remember? Unless it's a beer. Um, okay, so we're gonna just start. It's very simple and quick. We're gonna pull out my, this time we're gonna use my mixer um, just to give my arms a little bit of break. Oh, sorry, I should have plugged this in before we got started. So just bear with me. Sorry if my back is to you. Um, oh, whoops, I should turn that off first. Um, okay, we're just gonna stick this in. Um, we're gonna just lose <laughs> a few crumbs in there, I think. Um, and we're gonna screw that on. Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, now, the key to my, I feel that the secret to my uh, um, chocolate chip cookies is that I always go half the amount of shortening to half the amount of butter. So we need a half a cup of shortening. And again, just kind of guess as you wish. Get that in there. Half a cup of softened butter is uh, ideal. So ah, that's about right. All right. Oops, let's get all the uh, paper off. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna stick that in the bowl and we're gonna get that mixing. And uh, we're going to um, a cup, full cup, of firmly packed brown sugar, golden brown sugar. That's the, or the yellow, the yellow. I don't like the darker one, I don't know why, but. Um, so we're just gonna squeeze that out, try not to touch it with my fingers. And again, it doesn't have to be completely exact, but. Oh, and you know what I should have done? Oh, here we go. Um, okay. Oh, it's a little, I, again, remember what I told you. It's like a cyclone hit the kitchen when I bake. Oh, I should preheat the oven. So I'm going to go bake it and preheat it to 350. Okay, so that's creaming nicely. I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar to a half a cup of white sugar. Again, very simple. There we go. Pour that in there. Get that nice and creamed together. You can spin it fast if you want. You can't hurt cookie batter. I find like muffins or things like that, you gotta, you can't over mix. But with cookie batter, ah, it's easy. So next, we're gonna just let that mix away. We're gonna cut in, whoopsie, sorry. We're gonna cut in two eggs like this and uh, um, we're gonna just throw that in there like that. Simple. Should have slowed that down a little bit. And then we're gonna pour in a little bit, a teaspoon or so of vanilla. And that can just be a judge, a judgment. Okay. And we'll get that fully combined. Just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna move to the flour. Now a lot of people would kind of use another bowl 
and put the wet, the dry ingredients all together. And but I'm like, ah, let's not waste time. Let's just or or um, or dishes. So we're gonna. That's creamed nicely. We're gonna just pour one cup in. We'll put it on slow. We're gonna put another cup in just like this. So two cups of all-purpose flour, just like that. Okay, mix that, put that in there. And, oh, well, it's a little little swishy, but, but it's not bad. So how, how are you enjoying it so far? See, it's easy peasy. I might get a spatula here and, and just kind of um, wipe, uh, get, get, get some stuff off the sides of my bowl just to make sure I incorporate all the ingredients. Now, here's where I switch to a spoon. Um, because I find um, I don't like to use the mixer, maybe most bakers would say you shouldn't, when I put the chocolate chips in because I find they, um, they just kind of get all smushy, so. Okay, now uh, I was a little bit premature. My daughter Maria in the audience um, realized that I forgot to have the one teaspoon of baking soda, which I'm gonna just sprinkle around. I also make sure that there's no lumps in the baking soda so that you don't get an ugly clump in, um, in the batter. And then we're gonna do a half a cup, sorry, a half a teaspoon of salt. Jeez, a half a cup, whoo, be pretty salty cookies. Um, okay, and I'm gonna sprinkle that in there and then I'm gonna give that all a really good whip. Now, normally, if we weren't in the uh, COVID-19 uh, stage, I would have just put those in my, the palm of my hands, not measured, but then I thought, well, maybe you guys would like that, so hence I used spoons. Okay, so now we're gonna add two cups of chocolate chips. Oopsies, oh, oh, I have, might have over um, emphasized, uh, I might have poured a few too many chocolate chips in there, but hey, if there's anything that you can never have too many of, it's uh, chocolate chips, of course. Okay, so now that's all mixed in. And as you can see, it's a good cookie batter consistency. Um, it's uh, not bad to even taste either. So I'm just gonna grab a cookie sheet. I, I should have pulled this out beforehand. I apologize, my producer didn't uh, get me prepared enough, I don't think, but anyway. Um, so all we're gonna do is, you know what I'll do? Is I'll wash my hands one more time, okay? Oh, the year was 1778. Honey, I'm frozen triple style. But I'm marking from the men's with the special I've ever seen. God damn them all. I was Toby Cruz, a big barbarian. Pardon, son, no tears of a broken man on a Halifax beer. Happy birthday to me. Okay, so my hands are nice and clean. All I'm going to do is grab a, a spoon. Now, you could put some parchment paper down on these trays if you feel like it, but. Um, Ah, let's conserve in this time. So all I'm gonna do is, as you can see, just kind of put these cookies out in blobs like this. So we're gonna uh, just, we've got those all um, on the tray. We're gonna put them in the oven like this. I'm gonna set the timer for about nine minutes, but again, you kind of need to watch it. And everybody's stove is different, so you never know. Um, so we're just gonna kind of let those cook and we'll show you how they, they turn out. Um, now, I, some of my, my viewers have had some uh, great ideas and some suggestions, so I'm gonna hopefully bring you some more. Um, but I thought maybe one episode we could do as a Facebook Live and you guys could actually ask me questions and things like that. So we might set that up if you guys are up for it. Um, anyway, we'll uh, be back in a few minutes and show you the uh, finished product. Okay, well my timer just buzzed and I'm gonna have a look at, ooh, they look good. They look really good. Look at that. So we're just gonna put those on the stove to cool for a minute. We're gonna go and put another tray in, which I had done. Um, we're gonna set the timer to nine minutes yet again, and we'll let those cook. Um, and once those are cooled on the cooling tray, we'll uh, have a taste test. Well, here we are. I'm so glad you could join us today. Here's our beautiful finished product. Uh, Small Town Bakers chocolate chip cookies. Small Town Baker, out. Mmm.